Welcome to another in the continuing series of 4-Minute Fridays by TPM. My name is Bruce Harris and I'm a Senior Technical Solutions Consultant here at TPM. In today's video, we're going to be adding a custom wire size parameter so eventually we can add this to a panel schedule. And to get there, we're going to be using an electrical circuits schedule um, it's kind of our intermediary step where we add the information. So with that said, let's go over to Revit. Now we're over here in Revit and I have a bunch of lighting fixtures and some receptacles and other things that I have circuited into the panels you see up in the upper right of my, uh, my view here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create an electrical circuits schedule. And one of the fields we's gonna, we're going to put in this schedule is the wire size field. We're going to take a look at it and show you the format that it comes in out of the box. And uh, most folks that I know do not like this format. And if they're going to include wire size in their panel schedule, they would like it in a different format. So what we're going to do is create a really versatile field that can be in pretty much any format you want it to be. But we're still not going to lose the intelligence of the uh, wire sizing that Revit does for you based on the, the length of the run and the voltage drop. So with that said, let's go ahead and start our schedule. So let's go up to the View tab of the ribbon. Go to Schedules, Schedules and Quantities, and the kind of schedule that we're going to make is an electrical circuits schedule. Alright, now the first field we want to place in this schedule is going to be our panel name, followed by the circuit number. Then we're going to put in the load classification, the rating of that circuit, the apparent current, the voltage drop, the apparent load, the actual length of the wires is calculated by Revit and the wire size field that Revit does give you out of the box that many people do not like the format that you're giving it in. Now we're also going to go over here and go into sorting and grouping. Let's go ahead and sort by panel and then by circuit number and that'll give us a good starting point. So now we've got a electrical circuits schedule that gives us a lot of information. And as we can see, this is the size format that the wire size is in. And it's kind of a long format, and a lot of people don't like it. Some people keep it really simple. Some people have all, they're, they're, not, they're not right and wrong ways to do it. There are many ways to do it. And what we're going to do is try and accommodate your way as opposed to this rather long format that they give you out of the box. Now to accomplish that, we're going to create a new field or parameter as it's called in Revit. So we're going to go to the field here and go edit. And this allows us, this new parameter button here, allows us to create a brand new parameter that does not exist in our project. So we're going to call this one wire. Now it is going to be a common and the reason it's going to be common is I want this to just be a plain text field so we have the versatility of typing in anything we want and although we're not going to use groups I'll put a check next to that setting to allow it by instance. Let's go OK and now we have a new field out here called wire. Now, this is not an intelligent field, but in this schedule we have the intelligent field here that tells us what the wire size is supposed to be. So over here in the new 
parameter that we've created, we can type in however we want to see wire size. Now once you've typed it in once, it will remember it from the list. So if I go down to one that's going to be, say this one's going to be tens. Now that one's going to be an eight. And of course now 10 is available for me and 12 is available for me and I can sit here and just assign all of the wire sizes in the format that I want taking advantage of the calculation based on voltage drop and length that Revit has already given you. Fast forward and I have assigned all of the wires to the appropriate circuit so now we are ready to insert this wire size field that we've created in the format that we like it in into our panel schedule. So I'm going to go to one of the existing panel schedules I have just so we can see what the current panel schedule looks like. So this is our current panel schedule and we want to add a new column that's going to be for wire size and we want that to be right in front of the trip let's say. And obviously where you arrange things is totally up to your standards. So I'm going to go up to the manage tab of the ribbon. I'm going to go to panel schedule templates and I'm going to edit a template. Now I only have one, the one they give you out of the box in this particular project, so I'm going to choose it. And now we are in the panel schedule. So what we want to do is add that column to this schedule. So I'm going to click inside the column that I want to insert it in front of. Go up here to insert column and I want it to do it to the left of the selected. So now we have a new column here. So we're going to add a parameter to it and it's going to be that new one that we created called wire. Now um, we're going to need to change the size of some of these so let's go ahead and change the uh, resize column for this one. Let's make it two and a half inches rather than three. And let's kind of split the difference with this. Okay, so now I'm happy with my column sizes. Notice the formatting of these cells isn't quite the same, so I want to click and drag across these cells. This is going to work very similar to Excel for those of you that know Excel. We're going to edit our border and we're going to do both the outside and the inside. Do the same thing over here in this column. Go to edit our borders and do both the outside and the inside. Okay, so now we have the lines where we want it there. Now we do need to add right down here in this cell. We want to edit the border and we want to do outside but we only want to do the bottom. And same thing over in this cell. We want to add outside and only the bottom. So now I believe we have it exactly like we want it. So let's finish the template and let's try it out. Now to update an existing panel schedule you must go to the change template. Now this command allows you to both change to a different template or reapply an existing template that has been changed which that is the case that we're under. So I'm going to click on change template, choose our branch panel schedule and go OK and now we have the new custom wire size parameter added to our panel schedule in a format that meets our company standards. Thank you for watching another in our continuing series of 4 Minute Fridays from TPM. 
Look for us at tpm.com or you can subscribe to TPM Solutions channel on YouTube. Once again, thank you for watching.